one of the core themes of scholarium 2.0 is um, is you know the goal to provide you actionable insights not just data but insights that you can take action on and with the wealth of data that scholarium um, collects if we are to provide insights one of the challenges that we faced was to really say how do we express this data so that those insights become obvious and which is where this new design language um, of charting and, and and information that we have curated comes about so let me just show this in action um, through a very very small example so has um, you know just this, this three-dimensional chart in the dashboard view of a student where uh, who's taken but 250 odd questions when you think about this you say hey 61 percent weighted accuracy it's a fairly decent uh, weighted accuracy especially if you look at the kind of questions that the student has uh, attempted he's attempted um, uh, about 40 percent of the question in that that he's attempted an sc or 40 to 45 percent are hard another 40 45 percent are, are medium so so that 61 percent weighted accuracy across seems to be a fairly good number um, overall but then the other piece you want to really say is have i gotten better and and when to do that what you do is you select hard question and you say okay how do i compare when uh, for all questions versus the last 20 and and you can see some improvement from 50 versus 60 for sentence correction but sometimes you want to actually do uh, uh, do this slightly better and this is where our skill data view on sentence correction comes in and what you see over here is a fairly sophisticated graph you have an accuracy trend here and on the backdrop you have a difficulty level so so what this says is in the last 16 to 30 questions your accuracy was 77 percent but your difficulty level was still overall a difficulty level for those 15 questions was was slightly more than medium however you know you may really say okay from that 77 percent that accuracy dropped to to 60 percent and some of you may be alarmed if you purely looked at accuracy but um, if you look at accuracy in the context of the difficulty level what you see is hey the difficulty level of questions that was served to me that difficulty level was, was really high the, the highest that it can potentially be it's just a hair of high and 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 so over there in that context that um, that that's that 60 percent accuracy is is really good especially when you look at where i started from where i had 55 percent accuracy for questions which were a hair above medium now if you want to really see those insights even more you say okay how did i do across just hard questions and and you'd see that story confirmed that in the last 15 hard questions my accuracy as a student has been 60 percent compared to the 16 to 30 and compared to prior to that you can see a continuously improving trend of hard questions also if you want to really talk about how has my timing been and you can see hey um as i went from 44 percent to 47 percent accuracy i did take longer but my my timing seems to have come back my which kind of shows more uh, uh that i'm more test ready today than than i ever was you can see the very similar trend around uh, around medium difficulty questions as well where the accuracy has has remained the same but the time to answer questions has also come down from that 16 to 30 attempts maybe you were rusty uh some time back and now you as you've gotten in your groove you can see that time to answer questions improve so this is just a very small demonstration of of this new design language how it helps you analyze data in the right context and, and then um, uh, helps you make those actionable um, uh, decisions that, that help you get to that the V40, V44, V45 score. Overall, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and as I always say, happy learning.